This is the best mobile game controller out there, according to Razer. This is the Razer Kishi Ultra. Uh, similar to everything that has the name Ultra next to it, this is the top of the line Razer mobile gaming uh, controller. Now, Razer says that this will cover everything for you from playing on your Android devices, iOS devices, including an iPad mini, as well as your PC. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a closer look. So what makes the Razer Kishi Ultra different? First of all, it is pretty wide. It is a big controller in terms of width in comparison to its closest uh, competitor, which is the Backbone controller. Now the Backbone itself has a much more compact feel to it. Although it does expand out to allow devices up to 6.9 inches or so, the Razer Kishi Ultra has a lot of differences there. So when you expand this controller out, you can actually fit an iPad mini quite comfortably with even a slightly larger tablet if you need to. This also has different risers, which are these little plastic little things here for different devices to make them more comfortable as they fit. And it has that floating USB type C port, which means of course, as I said, connects on Android, iOS uh, devices from the iPhone 15 up and iPads, as well as also your Galaxy Z Fold devices, which is pretty nice. Now, let's take a closer look at the controller itself. You've got grips on the side um, that feel very comfortable. Also, they are very tactile on the back. Uh, then you look at the button layouts themselves, a very standard Xbox style buttons with your cross diagonal um, thumbsticks. Now, those thumbsticks are really nice. They're very comfortable. They feel like the same thumbsticks you would find in the traditional uh, Razer controller or a console level controller. Uh, you've got your XYBA buttons. You've got, of course, your triggers as well as your bumper buttons. And then, of course, remappable R4 and L4 buttons. Those are all nice. What I really like about the controller is this uh, D-pad. It's got eight actuation points around the D-pad, making it very comfortable to spam a lot of Hadoukens. Basically, this is great for Street Fighter. I love the fact that they actually put that thought into having actuators in here, which make it really nice. So as a controller, it's, it fits every aspect that I'm looking for for a game controller. Now, it also has USB Type-C for pass-through for power, up to uh, 15 watts and a headphone jack. So this doesn't have a built-in battery here and everything runs by via plugged in via USB Type-C. So gaming on this controller, how does it actually feel, right? It's very comfortable to play your games, your Android games quite easily and it's very smooth. Whether you're playing on something like the uh, Galaxy Z Fold uh, 5, which kind of has an, uh, a weird angle to it, but it still works really well on this device. Or even your iPhone 15 Pro Max, or your, your S24 Ultra, uh, it does handle well. Now, I went ahead and played uh, Call of Duty Warzone on the iPad mini, and that was just a very fun experience, except of course I died constantly, as you guys would expect, because that's just standard on this channel. Uh, but a game experience was nice. The, the thumbsticks really handled well, and this is where the software that Razer provides really adds an extra element to it. This is the Nexus, um, uh, software. Now the Nexus app allows you to go ahead and do a bunch of things on there. You can remap those buttons uh, in any way you choose, which is pretty nice. It also makes sure that you never have dead zones on your thumbsticks, which is great. So you can actually go ahead and correct your dead zones if you have those issues, if you're like Hayato and you're playing Ghost of Tsushima and it just drifts all the way to the left. You, actually, you should see it on screen here. It is, it's painful, it's really bad. Uh, and then of course, you can also um, manage your chroma colors. Of course, you can't have a Razer controller without chroma RGB lighting, which you can customize here as well. Now, the really cool thing about this is it does have haptic feedback and it's very responsive and it's very, um, how would I put it? It feels really good. I mean, that doesn't have any, expletives there, but it does feel really good in terms of haptic feedbacks, especially if you're playing a game like Street Fighter where 
you definitely get every punch in. You feel all that as you're gaming with this controller. Now, I play Street Fighter VI on my PC, and this is where the PC connectivity works as well. It doesn't have a built-in battery or Bluetooth, so you connect via USB Type-C to your laptop or your PC, and you get that full-fledged experience. I really like it, especially the width of the controller here. Um, even though it's wider than, say, your standard Xbox controller in terms of width, it still felt very comfortable while gaming. So I liked that experience and I think it's absolutely solid. Now the price point at 149 might be high for some, but I think as a mobile controller and if you're always on the road, this covers every aspect of your mobile gaming. Whether you play on Android or your smartphone, like, you know, like an iPhone, or you're playing on an iPad, this will work well. Or you have a gaming laptop with you on your road and you wanna just use a controller, you can use this too. I like that functionality here. Now, the one thing I'll say is that some aspects of it feel a little bit cheap in terms of the make. So when you pull it out and expand it, you can see it kind of shakes a little bit. Uh, it's still sturdy, but it just feels a little bit cheap on that aspect. I also wish it had other colors. That's not a dig, it's just a Razer likes to just make things in black. I am black, of course, but you get the idea. Anyway, guys, if you like this controller, you want to pick it up, use our link down below. I definitely recommend it. I think this is putting a lot of game controllers on the watch there in the market. So I'd love to see what people like Backbone and other companies do to counter this because I think Razer might actually have the best mobile game controller on the planet. All right, guys. Thank you very much and always enjoy your entertainment. Ooh, that was terrible. <laughs>